Hello everyone. Our next topic is Ohm's law. Okay. Consider a conductor, any conductor on the cross section. Here the cross section. Here this is considered current density and this is electric field. These two are vector quantities. So according to Ohm's law, the current density is directly proportional to electric field. Current density is directly proportional to electric field. Now to remove this proportionality, so I replace one proportionality constant that is sigma conductivity where sigma is proportionality constant proportionality constant this is called conductivity this is called conductivity so what is the formula for current density current density is equal to sigma into electric field this is called point form of ohms law this is called point form of ohms law now consider the previous diagram i apply external voltage source when if we apply external voltage source to any conductor then current will flows through this conductor assume the length of the conductor is l from this electric field can be written as voltage total voltage by l and current density what is mean what is mean by density current density current density z is equal to z bar is equal to current per area area means here cross section area so current per area now what is the formula okay this this formula substitute these two values in this equation so what we get i by a is equal to so what is the right side sigma conductivity into what is e bar p by l so here it is dividing if you send this side it will multiply so i is equal to conductivity into a by l into v okay so if we replace with this a constant 1 by r into v so what is the 1 by r here 1 by r 1 by r is equal to conductivity rho sigma into area by l so what is the inverse of conductivity resistivity so what is inverse of conductivity rho is equal to sorry sigma is equal to 1 by rho so resistivity substitute here what we get 1 by r is equal to a by rho l from this what is the resistance rho l by a rho l by a now so here what we are getting i is equal to 1 by r into v so what is i i is equal to v by r from this from this what is v i r okay this is another form of ohm's law from this expression that is i is equal to 1 by r into v okay, this can be written as how can we write this i is directly proportional to v i is directly proportional to v consider the conductor 
for conductor i apply a external voltage that is v whenever voltage is applied to any conductor current will flows through this conductor current will flows through this conductor this conduct this current is directly proportional to apply applied voltage okay some some people are saying v is directly proportional to i this is wrong because here dependent quantity is current independent quantity is applied voltage that means this is the cause this is the sorry this is the cause this is the effect effect always based on the cause so here v is directly proportional to i is wrong so i is directly proportional to v okay this is the another form of ohms law so to remove this proportionality we place 1 by r so what is v that what is i 1 by r into v so what is v this is ir okay remember this point v is not directly proportional to i so i is directly proportional to v this is correct here there is a one important point what is that point limitation of ohms law what is that limitation here temperature should be constant okay so temperature should be constant that means ohms law can be defined as at constant temperature the current is directly proportional to applied voltage at constant temperature current is directly proportional to voltage it is very very important point so what is the ohms law at constant temperature current is directly proportional to voltage now i want to discuss one important point here that is in the mechanism uh, in the first video that is uh, mechanism of current flow we draw this diagram in ohms law we draw this diagram okay so here electrons are moving towards electrons are moving towards positive terminal of the battery electrons are moving towards positive terminal of the battery okay now so this is the direction of electrons so what is the meaning of current flow of charge or rate of change of charge okay or moment of electrons by the influence of voltage so here the electrons are moving in this direction so this is called current but in ohms law we are taking current is like this okay so current is starts at positive terminal of the voltage source so which one is correct here both are correct because this is called electron current direction this is called electron current direction this is called conventional current direction this is called conventional current direction very very important there is a chance asking in the interviews now let us solve some simple problems based on the ohms law so in this first circuit here given voltage value resistance value resistance is measured in ohms okay remember this resistance value then find current i so we know the formula according to ohms law v is equal to ir from this what is i v by r so across this resistance what is the voltage 20 so what is the resistance value 10 so what is the current value 2 amps now coming to second problem so same formula by ohms law v is equal to ir from this what is r resistance is equal to v by i so what is the voltage value across this resistance 20 so what is the current flowing through this resistance 5 so what is the resistance value 4 ohms 
coming to this problem so by ohms law v is equal to ir v is equal to what is the current 2 what is the resistance 20 so what is the total voltage 40 volts this is about the ohms law